Hello, I teach physics at the Maulana Azad National Urdu University. I'm an astrophysicist and I basically observe stellar objects using telescopes. I have my own little organization called Shrishti where we actually go around to schools and colleges, universities and give talks as well as demonstrations, workshops, visits to observatories and discussions with students at various levels on astronomy and science in general. I also train students for the, uh, the International Astronomy Olympiads and we've actually had teams trained and uh, going abroad. India is almost the last Olympiad which was there, the International Olympiad. India came first amongst a set of 41 countries. I was selected for the IVLP program in 2011 where I visited various universities and centers in the US like MIT, Caltech, etc. And in some of the places I gave talks and some of them I attended talks and mostly I interacted with a lot of astronomers working in these different places. Very few women in physics and maths. There's a good amount of them in the life sciences and biology and chemistry because generally women are given to understand that physics and maths is, is a tougher subject. It's meant for men and not for women who are you know too dumb to be handling subjects like that. So the first thing that women need to do is actually get out of that uh, mindset where you think that physics and maths is too hard for women to understand or to comprehend and uh, so one thing is the mind barrier and the second thing is that there are many opportunities for women not only in India as well as abroad in actually uh, pursuing their careers and they need to keep in mind that um, that you know we just live one life and that's the one life where you need to do what you want to do and uh, you need to follow your dream in that way.